All right, today I want us to consider types of astigmatism, but particularly based on focal points relative to the retina. You see, when I have an eye, this eye can either be only myopic or hyperopic. But one eye can be myopic and hyperopic at the same time. But for astigmatism, it can coexist with any of these. Right. So based on the focal point relative to the retina, you see for the astigmatism, they are coming with two incoming light rays because the curvatures are not the same. So it's either one will be focused in front of the retina or some of the light rays will be focused at the back of the retina at the same time. So when I have one focusing in front of the retina and behind the retina, that means that will become a mixed astigmatism. I can also write some of the light rays, the two of the incoming light rays, all of them focusing in front of the retina. When that happens, this becomes a compound myopic astigmatism. Some of the light rays too will be focused behind the retina, the two of them. When that happens, this will become a compound um, hyperopic astigmatism. Some of the two can focus on the retina and one will be in front. And when it's on retina and one's on in front of the retina, that becomes simple myopic astigmatism. Some of them you can be on the retina and one will be behind. That becomes simple hyperopic astigmatism. So today I want to look at the types of astigmatism and we know how to do the calculations to come out with prescriptions, whether they are mixed, they are mixed astigmatism, they are compound hyperopic and all of that. So for the classifications, I can have one. Based on the focal point related to the retina, I can have simple myopic astigmatism. There are five in all. I can also have simple hyperopic astigmatism. I can also have compound hyperopic astigmatism. I can have compound myopic astigmatism. And I can have, yeah, five. I can have mixed astigmatism. Maxim. So there are five in all. Now, if I'm given prescription to tell, which one is simple myopic, which one is compound, whatever, I need to do what I call and to draw my optical cross before I come out. Yeah, she prescription is sad. Okay, and case one who plus one minus one is in the mix. That be you get it wrong. So let's solve some examples. So example. In an exam, I'm giving classify. Classify the following under uh, various types of astigmatism based on focal points relative to the retina so here i'm talking about the mixed compound and all that so i'm giving example one to be let me say minus two combined with plus two axis 100 and two i'm having minus four Combine it plus two, I guess 180. Three, I'm giving plus two, combine with um, plus two, I guess 90. Four, I'm giving plan two, combine with plus two, I guess 90. Five, I'm giving minus two, Combine with plus four axis 180. And here I am to tell whether if they are compound 
hyperopic or whether if they are mixed or whether if they are com uh, compound myopic and all that i'm to tell so how do i do it now i'll, I'll go through the first example now one i have minus two combine it plus two axis 100 now if if i'm asked to tell whether if this if, is it this being simple myopic within simple myop, uh, simple hyperopic is it compound i can't see that this is minus for my this is plus so i'll see this is mixed as the medicine when i do that i will always get them wrong the best way is to always draw your optical cross and tell the answer from the final cross you get so minus two since it is around 100 i'll draw my optical cross in this fashion because i know here is um 90 and 180 so 100 will be somewhere here you understand so 100 will be somewhere here okay so since this is a sphere it will have the same power along the same meridian so i have here minus two here to be minus two plus another i'll draw another cross for this one so i know this is my 90 this is my eight so in case it, if the cylinder as this was given to me in 180 or 90 fashion i would have put them here but because it's 100 100 will be somewhere here but to, to push to the side 100 will be somewhere here okay and this one should be somewhere here so i'll have here since the cylinder plus two plus two axis 100 then the plus two is on so this, this one's more than 100 so i'll take 90 from this one and i'll get 10. So in actual sense that you should have light at this um, point, okay? But I didn't write it well. So I'll have my plus two here, and here will be zero. So my final, um, so this is ninety. This is one eighty. So I'll have my ninety here, and I'll have my um, thing. So minus two plus zero, I'll get minus two. And then minus two plus minus two, that will give me zero. So I have my zero here. So you see that I am having one 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 being zero and one being minus two. Rain I'm afraid can zero means zero means a simple on the retina. And the see minus two means a myo in front of the retina. So I have a simple myopic. So this prescription tells me that it is simple myopic astigmatism. Example two, minus four, combine with plus two, axis one eighty. I am to tell whether if it is with the rule. I am to tell whether if it is compound, hyperopic or maze or whatever. Now I can't. I can't just look at it and say since I have minus here and have plus here, so it's mixed as a matter. No, always do your optical cross. So since that is around one eighty, I will for the first one being sphere. I will draw for the sphere and I will draw for the cylinder. So minus four, the same minus four along all my reading because it's a sphere. So I have here minus four, I have here two minus four because it's a sphere. Plus this one, the that plus two axis 180. That means that the axis is around 180 and the power is around 90. So I have here plus two. So my final cross here, so plus minus four plus two will give me minus two. And minus four plus zero will give me minus four. So I have minus here, minus here, final one. In the middle of the account, since I have two minus here, it becomes compound myopic astigmatism. Okay, good. Now, the next one. That is my plus two. Plus two, combine with minus two, axis one eighty. To tell whether if it's whether if it's simple myopic compound whatever, first I'll do my call my total cross for the sphere. So this one will be for my sphere. This will be for my cylinder. So plus two means the same power along the same meridian. So I have here plus two. I have so I have here plus two. Minus one minus two axis one eighty. So that means that the axis is one eighty, which is zero, and the power lies ninety. So I have here minus two. So the my final one I'll be getting. Plus two, plus minus two, okay, which will give me zero. Plus two, plus zero, give me plus two. So I have zero 
and plus 2. And zero means it's on retina. So simple. Plus 2 means um, for high group, that's behind the retina. So this becomes simple hyperopic astigmatism. That is that. Example 4. Okay, so I have here plano by 2. Plano plus 2 axis 180. Yeah, in chain, can higher plano, higher zero, higher plus into a simple hyperopic derby always draw the cross so for plano means that it is zero plano and only zero point zero zero it is time to have zero on the same meridian there is no sphere okay combined with my um cylinder i have plus two as it's 180 that means that the, the power is 190 and my 180 is as it's so zero so my final zero two i'll get what plus two and here is what zero this is simple hyperopic astigmatism. Now the fifth one, maybe a minus two combined with plus four axis one eighty to tell whether it's simple compound and all that. Draw the cross, optical cross. So for my sphere, this is for my sphere, this is my, for my cylinder. So for my sphere, I have minus two on each of the meridian because it's a sphere. But plus four, as it's 180, that means that plus four is 190. So I have here plus four. And my axis becomes zero. So my final, minus two plus four. Minus two plus four. I'm getting plus two. Minus two plus zero. I'm getting minus two. So you see, having plus and minus at the final side or the final cross, that means that one is in four is falling behind the retina, and one is falling in front of the retina. So since plus and minus, that becomes mixed. So this becomes a mixed astigmatism. So the point is that before you find out or you tell whether if a prescription is a uh, maybe simple myopic, compound myopic, always do the optical cross combine them and the final crossing look at the powers if you are all getting plus plus okay if you're getting plus plus here then it is compound hyperopic if you're getting zero and a plus that means it is simple hyperopic if you're getting plus and minus it's a mixed astigmatism okay if you're getting zero and minus that means it is simple myopic if you're getting minus and minus compound myopic as a medicine. Thank you.